Warning. I'm not responsible for arguments between the artist and the person who records their art. Always credit the original artist or better yet, ask for their permission. Also, I apologize for my bad English grammar. But without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Hello everyone, this is SwallowigiFan32 speaking here. And based on many requests from, from my friends, I decided to... Uh, do a tutorial on how I recolor my pictures. So let's get started. So obviously you gotta choose a picture first to recolor and for this example I'm going with Mario. Um, the first thing you do is select the magic wand tool. Now hold Ctrl and select the parts you need to recolor. Um, you might need to change the tolerance because sometimes you um, select too much and that can easily be solved by changing the tolerance a bit. By the way, I use uh, three different methods to recolor in this video and I'll show all three of them. Now, copy and paste the selected parts into a new layer. You can do that by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V now the first method is to go to adjustments and click on hue and saturation and then basically play around with it so you get the perfect color that you want Another thing I should probably mention is every time you uh, select a part that you want to recolor with the magic wand tool, uh, you better copy paste it into a new layer. Just make a new layer every time, just to be safe. Now the second method is to go to adjustments and click on hue and saturation again and make sure the selected part has a grayish color. Now make a new layer with the part still selected and change the blending mode from that layer to overlay. Use the paint bucket tool to color the selection in to the color you want. Here you might want to go back to the layer where the grayish part is located and basically mess around with the lightness settings in hue and saturation again so you can get the color you want. Now granted this uh, method isn't as useful and great as the other two methods but sometimes it works. For the third and last method you have to go to adjustments and then levels. In input you change it to the color of the selected part. That's why I made it grey, so it's easier to replace it. In output you change it to the color you want it to replace with. For this example it's orange. Now from here on out I'm trying to experiment with the three different methods to see what's the best for this picture. It actually depends on the picture uh, which of the three methods is the most useful. So yeah. <laughs> Recoloring white parts is the easiest to do. All you have to do is go back to adjustments and then levels 
and you don't even have to touch the inputs Ch just change the output to the color you want it to be that's all you have to do Now we're pretty much almost done. All that's left to recolor are the eyes and the shoes. So yeah. Here is the finished product. So I hope I helped a lot of people with this tutorial. Uh, this was my first one so well if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments down below. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget new videos will be coming soon including my 1k subscriber special. This is Waluigi Fan signing out.